Hey, this is Dave Bartosowitz. I just got back from um, Vegas. We went to church today. I gotta tell you, I've just been thinking about a lot of things that, that I believe is, is valuable and uh, important to think about. And that's, that's really about what has happened to our society uh, in America. I mean, I look at things now so differently. Since I, I'm Orthodox, um, I'm Eastern Orthodox, I look at things very differently because in the Orthodox way, they don't change. You don't see Orthodoxy, uh, if you're a part of it, you don't see that it, it sort of alters to, to modern views, modern you know, cultures. It stays the same. It's been like Christ. You know, Christ was the same yesterday, today, and and forever, right? And orthodoxy is that way. And one of the things that I, I've been coming to realize, and it's been really um, affecting me quite a bit, and that is the 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 real issue of our society, how immoral it is right now, um, and how PC it is with all different types of, you know, theologies or philosophies that whatever you believe, it's okay. So you got to ask the question, what really is truth? What is there really truth? And, you know, I see people pray and they don't even use, use the name of God anymore. They say, I pray. And it's like they're praying to themselves and to try to become more wealthy that that whatever the universe could bless them and we are becoming a society right now of the I want this I want this I feel that I should deserve this I should receive this and it's becoming a very selfish society now I've got to tell you uh, when I look at things like this and I evaluate it I, I have to go on the the basis of what has occurred with Christianity here in the West. And when I look at Christianity in the West and how it's it's exploded in all different types of churches, denominations, um, people who decide to create their own churches, their own views, their own ideas. You have a lot of cults coming and, and uh, you know, they, they go, hey, I, I read the Bible and it's, it's good. I I want to interpret it my way. I have to really question um, if their interpretation is really correct way. If it's going back to the, the original faith of the apostolic fathers. And what I'm finding is there's so many false interpretations that confuses a lot of people. I mean, look at we look in the Episcopal Church now. Now we have gay priests, you know. And if we look at a lot of other churches, um, they, they're modernizing things to make it, you know, feel good so that people will come in and they could worship Christ, but maybe not in the, the way the apostles wanted them to, <laughs> to worship God, but they're like, Hey, it's okay. We need, we need to fill the seats. Right. And, and I, I'm really, I think we are really messed up because by having all these denominations, having all these different views, all these different ideas going on, we miss truth. And truth is truth no matter what. So that's why I'm so intrigued about the original church because they maintain the truth. They have the faith of the fathers. They do not, they do not sort of like alter the truth because somebody wants them to say, hey, you're just too dang conservative. So you got to go to, to, you know, our society is changing and we want these rights and these teachings. They say, no, we're not that church. We don't, we don't side to a lot of these liberal views. We side to truth of what the apostles taught, Christ taught the apostles, and we stick with it. So I'm so much more impressed with that. And it really affects me with America. I'll tell you that because America is lost right now. I see America in a place where it's like, to me, it's like whatever goes, goes. And you know, everybody's trying to be PC about things. Well, I think it's false. I think we're, we're, we're losing our true sense of truth. You know, in the fifties, 
you know, was it much better during that period of time with morals? Absolutely. Look at 2018, the, the things that are changing and the drugs, the addictions, the 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 amount of people who think it's okay to to have sex all the time they want. They don't feel like it's necessary to, to get married anymore. I mean, we the Bible talks all about this. And we have a we have a generation now that's absolutely lost. And it really affects me. I'm, I'm more impressed with Russia. And I, and I keep saying that because the fact that they have the Orthodox faith and they have built over 22, 23,000 churches in the past uh, period of time since Putin's been in. Now you can have your own views on Putin, whatever, and I'm, there's a lot of Americans that, that don't like him. And I, and I understand why you feel that way, but I'm also quite impressed with the country that is lowering abortion, that they are, you know, they don't believe in many of these liberal views that America has. And I think, you know, I think I, I actually, America is, is a serious, serious trouble right now with its morals. And I see it like a Sodom and Gomorrah, and, and I pray that that we can start seeing truth for what it is and being more conservative in a way that allows people to to say, no, I disagree with you, this is wrong, this is false, this is not what God wants. We're becoming a nation not under God, it's just whatever we feel is right, that's the nation. And when you get into that sort of situation, it's over. It's over. Because there is no basis of truth. You know, guys, we, we gotta we gotta support truth. And and God is the truth. We have to go back to him and the church and realize this is the truth. When you see all these churches coming out and changing and becoming more PC, I gotta tell you, I, I've seen it before, I've seen a lot of different churches. I've been so much more impressed with Eastern Orthodoxy because they don't change and they stay with the truth, the dogmas, the apostolic doctrine. And if you're impressed with all that, I I think you should look into it. Anyway, sorry about my ranting. I just get upset sometimes. And God bless you guys.